you simply won't believe these AI tools are 100% free. But they are. Now I find myself using this first AI tool every single day in my design process and also for YouTube creation. It's a total beast. So here's an example we're going to look at. It's a very low quality, low resolution Samsung design. Notice how blurry the text is and how the objects have no definition. Basically, it's just a really low quality, low resolution image, or that is until we do something to it. If we come to this website, Big JPEG, I can select an image to upload right here. And once you've located the image, just click the start button. For the Samsung design, I feel like the artwork is a better choice than a photo. And for free, you can actually upscale to 4X, which is more than enough for most projects. Then below that, we have noise reduction settings. Hit OK and away we go. Now it might take a few seconds to render in, but when it's ready, we can check the results against the original. Now I love how detailed and how fresh the flower looks on the phone, and also as well as the device at the bottom right, it's really crisp. And check out how much better the text looks in comparison to the first original design. For a free tool, this is actually a really good asset into your design arsenal. This next free AI tool is really interesting and it can do stuff just like this. And again, it's totally free. So just upload any image from this menu here and once uploaded, the fun begins. Now you can see that already we have a cool 3D perspective sort of feel to the once static image. Here we can change the length of one single animation or run through. And importantly, here is the style of animation. Now I prefer the newest animation perspective style, but of course we both know you're going to play around with these settings at some point. Importantly below that is the amount of motion. Less will prevent your image from having that kind of blurry trail behind it, and more will increase it. The focal point setting dictates where the center point of your animation is going to be, and edge dilation does something, but I'm not too sure what. There are advanced settings as well. But here's the really neat thing. When you want to download your clip, you can share it on social media sites or you can just save it to your device. And no, there are no watermarks whatsoever. It's 100% free in every aspect. The end result isn't crisp 8K style, but it's cool enough and hopefully it's going to be improved over time. The world of graphic design is evolving so fast and AI is becoming a huge part of that design process. I'm about to share with you some cutting edge technology that's actually been approved by none other than MIT, and that is Attention Insight. Attention Insight is a predictive eye tracking platform where designers can actually take their designs to the next level of effectiveness. AI instantly shows what users will notice on any design that you make. The UI layout shows warm to cold colors that showcases how your user attention is distributed on your design. Where you see red spots, this indicates the places where users likely will look the most on your designs. You can also flick between the focus map and the heat map, but also you can check percentage viewed of certain areas. With this, users can draw rectangles and the built-in AI calculates how much attention is in a specific area. Now, if you're someone working on a website design, a poster or marketing materials, Attention Insight has got you covered. But one really beneficial use case of Attention Insight is making sure the CTAs are going to be seen, used and clicked. Users can also download reports from Attention Insight. And downloading the reports is such a great tool because you can actually use this as evidence in your design pitch to the client and it kind of backs up your design in a very strong way. And the best way to use Attention Insight is to know the goal of your design. For example, as we spoke about CTAs being clicked, and then to run the test and see how it operates. You then make changes according to the test and then you retest it once more. You can also run comparisons to set two different designs against each other to see how they differ and which one is the most effective. Oh, and this thing, it even has plugins for design software such as Photoshop and so on, and that is just really, really convenient. Everybody can try out Attention Insight for free with a seven day free trial, but you can get yourself a 20% discount off any plan by using the code Satori in uppercase letter forms. But yeah, to learn more about Attention Insight, just click that link in the description box below. Now, I bet most of you don't know this next tool actually exists. Microsoft Bing has stepped into the AI game with a text to image search engine. And I find that this produces imagery and design assets that Midjourney simply just cannot do. 
Oh, and the credits in the top right section of the search bar are your free tokens. And when they run out, it just means the render time will be a bit slower. Anyway, unlike a mid-journey, you don't need to use commands. You just type out whatever you want to produce. The results are okay, they're not kind of high quality resolution such as mid-journey. But this is free, and like I said, the results are often more precise than mid-journey. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say I'm working on a retro gaming design, and I need an 8-bit graphic style of a hut. Bing actually does a really good job here of making something I can actually use on my design project, and pretty quick. It's a shame there's no way to change the aspect ratio and stuff like that, but hey, it's a free design tool so we can't really complain. No, I'm not shopping for yachts just yet, but I'm looking for high quality, high resolution, royalty free imagery of yachts. Say I really like the look of this one here I found on Google. All I need to do is to save the image and then come into this website here, Immerse AI. Once uploaded, it will scan the internet to find any relevant imagery that are royalty free images that are similar to my choice. And actually, it does a pretty good job of locating high quality free images that you can use on your next project. And also, it shows the destination of that royalty free image. Again, this saves time and it prevents you from having to search through Google for that high res image. Pretty sweet. I'm going to use the next tool in a way that you've probably never seen before. It's ChatGPT. And before you think, oh look, another ChatGPT video, trust me, this gets really interesting and useful if you're a graphic designer. Let's say I'm working on a logo design project for a new tech startup. The first step is to ask ChatGPT to make a detailed audience persona for my client. And you can make more descriptive ones than this, I'm just doing a quick example for you guys today. But you do want to put in the brand goals and stuff like that into the prompt. Okay, so ChatGPT will start to reel out some audience personas based on my client's brand. We have standard details here and then the background information of the kind of person in this persona. Importantly, we have their goals and motivations. And by the way, we're going to make great use of this very soon. Moving down, ChatGPT is now establishing their pain points and what makes them worried or anxious. But yeah, once it's actually finished rendering out your persona, your audience persona, we're now going to ask the AI to do something important with it. Using the above audience persona, list attributes of a possible logo design targeted at this type of person. Demonstrate ways that the logo design can actually be tailored to the audience persona. You can be more precise with your commands and your prompts, but for now, this is just fine. ChatGPT will now list ways you can structure your logo design so it actually appeals to precisely your client's brand. For example here, it suggests that I use tech symbolism in the design itself, or below that a modern and minimal design will appeal to my audience persona, Sarah. And it explains exactly why as well, and that will be so great for your pitch in explaining your design process. It then gives me a bit of shape psychology in how dynamic forward movement can suggest growth and innovation, something perfect for my client's project. And below that, it talks about how colour can evoke trustworthiness and reliability, something my audience persona will actually resonate with. It even tells me what sort of typography was going to work best for my logo. But yeah, you can see how insanely powerful this is, and you don't need to do exactly what it says. A good designer will use their brain and decide what path to take, and then their creativity will pull everything together. ChatGPT is a really good way to have a basis or a foundation for a project, and then as a designer you kind of take it on from there. But if you'd like to learn some more useful and some more cool graphic design techniques, just click that video on screen. And until next time guys, design the future today. Peace.